Hello everyone. Welcome. Now I'm going to explain everything about the Ticket No Code plugin. The Ticket No Code plugin was developed for printing receipts on ESC POS printers with paper widths of 80 mm and 58 mm. In the standard version, the plugin prints images in both 58 mm and 80 mm widths, as well as pre-formatted text. It also prints text with QR code in both versions. It prints pre-formatted receipts, images, provides a visual preview identical to the printed receipt, and also generates a JPEG image of the receipt. This last feature is only available in the PRO version. Additionally, it can send a four format reports to conventional printers, whether inkjet or laser. To start testing the application, the first step is to download the local print server to your computer. By clicking the first button, the server will be downloaded and installed locally. Once installed, an icon will appear in the system tray. Right-click on it and select Print Settings. In Print Settings, you will choose the printer to use for testing. In my case, I'm testing a PIOS printer installed on another computer on my network. This is possible as long as the printer is shared on the same network. Just install it on your computer and begin testing. The second option allows you to configure the printer used for printing reports, a 4 format. In my case, I use the HP Office Jet 8620. The terminal field is optional and available only in the Pro version. It allows you to use client side to send print jobs to a remote server. This remote server then forwards the job to the local server with the same terminal. This enables printing from devices without the server installed, such as tablets, phones, or computers outside the local network. Note, this feature is exclusive to the PRO version. After configuring, click OK. Now you're ready to print. The first step is to test the printer. Click the button, and as you can see, the printout is immediate. Let's now print a receipt with text and image. I clicked, and the printing was instant. Here is the receipt preview element. Clicking on it opens the preview immediately, exactly as it appears on the printed receipt. Now I want to print an image. We have two actions, one for 80mm ESC POS printers and another for 58mm. The image is adjusted to fill the paper width, and its height adjusts according to the image's dimensions. I clicked, and the print was instant. Now I'll generate an image of this receipt. In our case, the SAS is a sales app. As soon as a customer makes a payment via credit card, the backend system, through a webhook, generates the receipt image, which is inserted into an HTML email. I'll show an example of this email. This image generation runs on the server, server side, consuming workload units. The other actions shown earlier do not consume them. The receipt image was generated and can also be printed using the image print function. I clicked and it was printed instantly. As you can see, the plugin is very simple. Now I'll show you how it works. There are two test links in the video description, one for the pro version and another for the standard version. Both can be tested easily. In the how to test section, you'll find basic instructions. Download the server, install it and follow the steps. If you don't have an ESC POS printer, you can download an emulator and test everything the same way. Just select the generated printer and follow the process I demonstrated. The details section has information about the elements and actions. Let's go to the editor page. Here's the main page with the test element. It's a simple call, no configuration needed. There's also an element to print the receipt, also straightforward. In the first part, we have the URL for the product list, header plus list. Each sale will have a different list, and you'll need to pass that unique ID dynamically. If you're using authentication, enter the token, without bearer. In the list fields, you define which fields are used, product, price, quantity, and total, based on the URL response. Just copy the field names exactly. If you have trouble generating this list, email us, we'll help. There's plenty of material online and we can recommend some to guide you.
the currency field sets the symbol, like dollar sign. In the demo receipt, it appears beside prices. The quantity field must have a maximum of three characters due to paper width limitations. The description, price and total fields are optional. You can leave everything blank if you don't want them to appear. The header separator is a line that appears right below the header. Now for the line section. There are 25 upper lines. Each line has content. Alignment, one right, two left, three center. Bold option and show or hide toggle. For spacing, leave the content blank and mark to show the line. To stop displaying lines, simply uncheck the next ones. There are 48 characters per line for 80 mm paper and 32 for 58 mm. If you exceed that, the content will wrap automatically. After the 25 upper lines, the product list comes, then the footer section. In the footer, there are lines 26 to 50. Lines 28 to 31 are split into A and B, left and right halves. For 80 mm paper, each side gets 24 characters, for 58 mm, 16. Then we have the base 64 image, optional. Just mark to show and insert the content, with full header like data image dot dot dot. Since some images may lack it, then there are 10 more lines, all configured the same way. The plugin is simple and functional. It delivers what you need in the simplest way. All elements, except the image print action, follow the same configuration pattern. I'll now show the image generation action. It's identical to other actions, but returns three values, status, URL, and base64 image. The URL is of the JPEG image created. The status is generally not used, but is available. There's also a create terminal action, used for remote printing. Finally, there's a feature still in testing, automatic A4 report printing. With one click, it sends directly to a conventional printer, it's currently functional in a basic form and will be improved soon. If you have questions, send us an email, available in the video description. Thank you all. A big hug and see you soon.